Um, so in 2021, um, tried a couple of diets, tried a couple of different things. I think the most recent thing that I've tried is keto. Um, very, very restrictive diet. Um, and even though there is, res uh, I have seen results with it, um, it's also very easy for you to drop off and then see the negative effects where you do get your blood tests. And if you're not steadily keeping on that diet, then you may have increased cholesterol or other things starting to happen because you're not being as strict as you should be to maintain the requirement of that diet. Um, but now we're trying to be a little bit more mindful of um, trying to do those really restrictive diets and really just focusing on trying to eat the way that we want to eat moving forward uh, and just being yeah. healthy in general. Yeah, I feel like with the diets, and I think most people say this, especially like if you're in the nutrition field anyway, they say diets are like a short-term thing. You can start it, but then it never lasts. Mm -hmm. So the best thing really is just to kind of like... Create, Change your mindset. Yeah, just create the lifestyle that you want. So whatever eating pattern that you want, go with that and not think about it in the sense of, oh, I'm on a diet. Because yeah. the diet is never going to last. You're yeah. never going to be able to, like, keep up with it. And like Max said, recently we tried keto, but, you know, fell off with that. And yeah. for me, I was more so, like, nervous about the keto. He wasn't, but for me, I was kind of, like, nervous about, like, the whole high-fat thing and, you know, that type of stuff. And, um, but I think... For the most part, for all of 2020, we were mostly just trying to restrict our calories. We weren't really yeah. doing like a real diet. We were just trying to make sure we ate less calories. We we, we definitely ate less calories, and I but I feel like even though we were eating low, um, less calories, I feel like the weight still wasn't coming mm -hmm. off. Yeah. Especially in my on my side, it was like um, like yeah, especially for my you. my caloric yeah. intake would say 2,000, yeah. 2,400. And I would eat like almost a thousand calories, maybe or, less. Four, or, or, or 1,500, 1,200. And I would like be See, on, no I'll be on, on point to lose two pounds for the week and I would lose nothing. And it yeah. was like, yeah, what? he was at a real caloric deficit because, you know, because he's taller and, you know, the body weight and, yeah. and height, your, your need, his energy needs are higher where for me, my energy needs are not as high as him mm -hmm. and he was at a real deficit and he yeah. wasn't even seeing any because because we would cook together so pretty much what she's eating i'm eating so basically i'm cooking to make sure she maintains her calorie and sometimes i'll have a little bit extra but at the same time it's like i'm nowhere near what my maintenance is so i'm at a deficit but nothing is happening so it was like kind of frustrating to be on a deficit of, of, of restricting my Especially calories when you're and still not see it. Yeah. So then it's like, if I'm not going to see it, the results well, anyway, why well, I'm not restricting it. So then, then you eat a little bit more and then you gain weight and you're like, I wasn't yeah. losing, but the minute I eat a little bit now, I'm going back up. It's like, so you, you don't know what to do. You feel stuck. Exactly. I think I can say for the both of us, the things that hurts us the most it's as the far as carbs is the sweets yeah. we we like sweets and we both have like a crazy sweet tooth so i think that's where most of our weight gain comes from like drinking those coffee yeah. drinks those starbucks Dunkin donuts, donuts, donuts Stra starbucks all those Hagen -Dazs. Hagen -Dazs, <laughs> we got into that all those milkshakes we got we like bakery items we like yeah cookies, i think i think and, definitely yeah. sugar Staying away from sugary beverages where when the shake forms or even yeah. Starbucks. And, and it's then, not that we're drinking then, soda. Then, we drink water. It's just that when we eat sweets, we go for those. We order those things. things so, like, yeah. those things, uh, I mean, if you ever heard it, it says don't drink your calories. And I feel like yeah. those are the easiest way for you to kind of, like, not really be mindful, mindful of, of what you're taking into your body. And it's like a shake itself can be a thousand calories and you, you, you know what I'm saying, you're, you, you just... You drink yeah. it in two seconds and you're and like, you I'm still it. not satisfied. You know, yeah. I still want more. And not only that, you have you have your shake and then you have to eat your food. Your food and your food so, is like another 1,000. So it's like, like 2,000 calories. Yeah, yeah, and then it's like you're trying to cram all this in, um, but then you're still not satisfied. Um, but I think what we're trying to do now is we're just trying to take a step back and like 
um, just focus on eating a little bit cleaner, being a little bit more intentional about what we're eating. We do try, we, we, we have tried tracking our calories. We scan the barcode and we know what our daily intake is. And we kind of work from that point on of just being mindful of what we're eating and just scanning things when, when possible. And just knowing like, okay, hey, I do have 300 calories. Like, what do I want to do with that? And kind of thinking of like our healthy alternative and options that we can fit within that um caloric option yeah so basically going forward right now we're kind of doing our ve- going vegan for the end of 2021 into 2022 yeah like and the, we're for, into february yeah mm-hmm. and for me i'm definitely gonna be cutting out a lot of carbs yeah. still and i'm not gonna be doing any sweets we, for sure we would like to go we would like to and cut down on dairy da- and dairy because of the and then we want to yeah. I, I'm I'm like on the fence. I'm yeah, I'm he's bo- doing running. I'm borderline on the fence. Uh, I can't really do too much carb restriction because I am running, so I do need that um carb. But, but I, he has to eat healthy carbs. Yeah, but I have to eat healthy carbs. So yeah. trying to eat like complex carbs versus like the simple, simple. carbs. Yeah. Um, so just being mindful of what I am taking into my body. Um, but um, it's kind of difficult to be a runner and or losing weight. Um, so just trying to be really mindful of like making sure I have enough energy to complete the tasks at hand, especially yeah. when trying to run, um, train for a marathon, which can include very long distance running. Yeah, so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge for him. But at the same time, too, at least with the running, you burn a lot of calories. Yeah. So you'll a- be able to have that weight loss eventually. Yeah. So overall, I've lost about six pounds since started running in the last week or two. Um, but we are also doing that vegan diet. So right now, we're working to see what progress we get from mm-hmm. that. And we'll kind of keep you updated on and all the results that we see. Yeah, I'm um, definitely. And I think be. we also have to measure ourselves and kind of like also get back into that because sometimes you may not see the results, but the the inches are dropping, and that yeah, those will be our see, motivation to move forward. Yeah, you're not gonna always see the results on the, on scale. the scale, so you have to measure yourself. You gotta do all that. Yeah. So right now my weight is like well 172 maybe. So I'm trying to drop at least. Well, my goal into 2022 is to lose at least 20 pounds. So that's my end goal. So okay. that's what I'm working towards, losing 20, 20, losing 20 pounds for next year. Yeah, I need, yeah, I, I'll do 20 pounds still probably. Yeah. So um, the goal for 2022 is to lose 20 pounds. We'll keep you updated if we get to that point. Um, yeah. and kind I'm of definitely going to keep you guys updated and probably share my journey. And I share on my Instagram, so go follow me there. And, and yeah. you'll share it on your running I'll journey. share it on my running journey. Um, I think definitely as I increase my running um, and I'm getting more active with that, I will probably be dropping the pounds a little bit quicker because I will be at a deficit most of the time. Um, but also trying to make sure that I take into the factor of my nutrition as a runner to make sure I could fuel the workout. Um, but thank you for watching and listening to our journey. Um, I feel like a lot of people are in this similar situation and can kind of like relate to what we're saying. Um, if you have been struggling with uh, your weight loss journey or you are on a weight loss journey, let us know in the comment like what you have been doing and kind of where you are with that, with your mindset and kind of like what are your plans for 2022 and how do you want to go about tackling your weight loss journey and if you are um doing something in, in the realm of vegan or like um no, no dairy or no pasta let us know um, how it's going yeah, we miss the sweets yeah. <laughs> and we hope that you're having success um in all that's happening in your life yes and remember even if you're a nutritional a nutrition professional you still can struggle with your Eating. eating eating it doesn't mean that just because you study nutrition you don't gain yeah. weight and things like that so i just want to say that too yes sometimes we give advice but it's hard to take the your take own, our own <laughs> take advice. Your, on your advice yeah. so guys we hope you are all ending the rest of this year out well and we're excited to and take don't you wait with for us. the new year to, to start, start your resolution start, start now. today make your resolutions now well You've made it to the end of the video, so if you enjoyed what you see, don't forget to subscribe, like, 
and comment down below and we will see you in our next video. Bye.